Okay, guys, massive news dropped earlier this morning. I was watching the stream of it, but then I got really tired and passed out. And honestly, it wasn't fully translated, so I want to wait for it that it was. So shout out to GCDB for translating it. These guys are killing it, man. Definitely will leave this stuff in the description. Um, also, thank you for those of you that have been patient. I haven't posted in a week. I've obviously been going through a lot of things. You're watching on Twitter. So thank you for those of you guys who have been patient. It means a lot to me. Back on the grind. Back on killing it, boys. You know the vibes. Lots of PvP. Lots of AOT collab probably next week. You know the vibes. Sub like down below if you guys are excited for AOT collab. We're going to get right with it to transit all of this. Just look into it. See just how wild this actually really is. Because it looks wild to me. Um, from what I've been hearing, uh, Aaron's got a passive like Derriere. And Mikasa is budget Las Vane. So are you better than Slime? Probably. <laughs> Slime guys are not that good. So probably. So it's obviously the main. It's the 29th of June. So it's three days from now. It'll be around the night time. Probably done like 3 a.m. Maybe delayed to 4 a.m. You know the vibes. So... Yeah, it's going to happen on the 29th. It doesn't say anything about maintenance happening for Global. And I've been hearing rumors that they're doing a Global and JP collab sync event to where both of them are going to get the AOT collab at the same time. That's what I've been hearing. Uh, who knows at this point? I've just been hearing stuff, you know what I mean? But um, it lasts all the way until the 9th of July. Not bad. That's like, what, almost two weeks? Uh, no, it's about like a week and a half. It's about a week and a half. Um, this is an Aaron mission. You log in three times for an event. Uh, the final reward is an SR Trinicorps Aaron. So it looks like if you do all these missions, you get an SR Aaron, a free one. Which, I mean, that's not bad, right? It's it's very similar to when you got free Lily, except free Lily was login bonuses. So this one's a little different. It's a mission bonus. Should be cool regardless, besides the least, you know what I mean? Um, they have rated for super and ultra success when Nancy Heroes. Not bad, not bad. 7 million diamond campaign. So it says here that you earn ga box gotcha tickets by completing missions. You could use the tickets to pull from the reward pool. Okay, okay. So far, this event's looking juicy. What the heck? It, bro, what? Obtain the lucky draw ticket by using all three boxes and you'll get an entry into the lucky draw once per day. Bro, you can win an iPhone. <laughs> what is this, dude? Bro, what? You can win an iPhone Pro 11, uh, a store gift card, a Dyson fan, AirPods Pro. Bro, Grand Cross is elite, dog. What is this, dude? You got a lucky draw and you can win an iPhone? Dog, this is actually juice, bro. This is juice. Yes, I'm going to get into this. I don't even have an iPhone 11. So, yes, I'm going to get into this. Actually, am I interpreting this wrong? Like... The first, second, and third prize will be drawn during drawn live during the live broadcast of 15th of July. Dude, actually juice, bro. What? Um, okay. I mean, Grand Cross is elite, dude. That's actually insane. There's a Hawk Pass as well, too. Uh, look at the Hawk Path. Uh, you get a bunch of SSR pendants. Typical Hawk Pass stuff. You get dupes in your SR Aaron Jaeger as well, too. Um, special words, you even get more dupes on it. You also get his cosmetics off it as well, too. Not bad. Not bad at all. You got a login event as well, too, which SR Aaron is a login event. That's, of course, it's similar to the Green Lilia. Uh, they give you Grand Cross X AOT collab pickup gotcha tickets. So you get tickets every single time to summon on the banners, like, in a few days. So you get it three times in a row, gap, three times in a row, gap. And the last one is four times in a row. So they really want you to summon on this banner. So I respect it. I mean, just look at this, dude. This looks juice, bro. I think this is transforming Aaron. He is blue. Mikasa is green. And Levi is red, which, I mean, red units. I mean, they're usually hit. They're usually hit, but we'll have to see. Uh, it says the price is one pull. Is uh, collab gotcha ticket. Is it times one or three diamonds? Okay. 11 pulls times 10 or 30 diamonds. Okay, okay. Um, they have rate ups as well, too, by 0.5. I really do wish that they just made the rate ups like better. I know recently Dragon Ball Legends made the rate ups a lot better. So if they would just would have made this better, I, I would have lost it. I mean, the rates in this game are atrocious. I've been whining about it forever. I know 
like the trade-off is the game just has a lot of content a lot of stuff it gives you but dude it's 2020 bro these rates gotta change and i don't know when they'll change but i mean it took legends two years to change so who knows maybe next anniversary grand cross will change because legends got 10 percent now who knows we'll see um so on the banner the fusion units obviously is the transforming titan shifter aaron yeager you got mikasa and you got levi so it's really jacked about this Aaron Jaeger is he's the very first transforming unit we got. And it's really big because number one, it's extremely hype. Number two, it could possibly change his class to make him a giant class. And after that, number three, anybody could get a transforming unit. They could literally make it to where like, I don't know, like something dropped in Sword of Shield lately is they give you max soup and you become a giant max. Maybe they give you an item and older units can get transforming as well. Who really knows? A lot could happen. It's Green Helbrum, Green Big DN's on it as well, too. Blue Arthur's on it, which I guess some people did not get Blue Arthur, so... Hey, pop off, pop off. Matrona's on it, and... Yeah, most of the other SSRs, they don't look that good. They don't. I mean, maybe they're good for, what, the Colossal Titan event? That's why they're featured on here. Who knows, dude? Um, To look into this as well, too, there's a guaranteed SSR ticket you get as well, too, and I think you can only get it through a pack which you can uh they did the exact same thing for was it the slime collab they did the exact same thing for that so it makes a lot of sense they got some packs as well too if you guys want to get these 33 tickets 30 diamonds 77 tickets 60 diamonds so how it goes is 33 tickets gives you three multis 77 gives you seven multis you get the vibes you know what it is um there's also some, a bunch of other packs if you guys want to get those as well. This is a uh, Elizabeth pack, which gives you three platinum coins, and those coins can be used to enhance your units to go beyond its super awakening. So, Grand Cross is becoming really pay to play. And I don't know how I feel about this, guys. I, uh. I mean, it gives you a guaranteed star ticket as well, too. So. But I don't know how I feel about this, bro. I. I don't feel the best about this. This. Grand Cross is really going a pay to play route. I don't know how I feel about that, man. Um, I do want to kind of go down and see this. So the event thing's right there. Oh, it's pretty cool. Okay. There's already a more hype than the one year, dude. I mean, look at this. I never even thought about this, but the Meliodas voice actor is the exact same voice actor as Aaron Yeager. I'm not trying to spin a narrative, but the same voice actor that voices both of these guys also voices Todoroki Shoto for My Hero. I'm not spinning anything, guys. But if we got a My Hero collab, it would also be Juice. I'm just saying... So, Titan Extermination Battle. I want to know what attribute he is. That's the biggest thing. Uh, these are a bunch of the awards you get for the difficulties, which is pretty cool. It seems like it's like a super boss because there's like places and stuff like that. So, yeah, unless I'm misinterpreting it, guys, is, would this be a super boss? We'll have to find out, right? Real time with two to four players to defeat the Colossal Titan. No, nah, it's not. Okay, it's not. Um, these are a bunch of exchange uh, shop items as well, too. They, can, they got Water of Life's in here and Demon Blood, Pretty Pog. They have an SSR chest. Uh, all this good stuff. I was looking for pendants. <laughs> There's the pendants. That's Pog. It's Pog. Uh, you got a cosmetics as well, too. You can get from Mikasa and Levi. Like I said, you can get the Aaron Yeager cosmetics throughout missions. And if you complete the Hawk Pass, all that good stuff. So here's the characters. This is the, I would assume, the SR Aaron, and he looks to be, you can cancel stances, increase basic stats of 50%. That could be pretty good. And he flicks Shatter. Okay, okay, okay. You got the Titan Shifting Aaron. This one is jacked from what I've been hearing. This one is literally jacked. He inflicts damage enemy to 500%, uh, and he fills ultimate gauge by two orbs. Okay, already kind of jacked. He inflicts damage, and he disables ultimate move for two turns. So he's got that little droll effect as well, too, where he disables ultimate moves. Pretty interesting. Um, he could transform the Titan from form for five turns. So he transforms to the Titan. It's five turns, and he increases his, all of his stats, attack, defense, HP, by 10%. And he decreases all enemies' attack leader stats by 30% for one turn. Darn, that's literally jacked. That one turn could make or break that game, dude. And he's immune to disability effects. Yo, this guy's looking jacked, bro. This Titan Shifting Aaron is looking jacked. Now, my question is, does his class change? I've been hearing rumors that he might become a giant. Obviously, right, he becomes a giant, but his class will become a giant so we can link up with the brand new giant team of Anniversary Dian, uh, Anniversary Droll. 
I cannot believe I'm saying that out loud. Why are those the anniversary units? But that could happen. He also has a passive which increases damage by 10% for each ultimate will move gauge orb the hero has. And if this hero keeps gaining ultimate move gorbs, move orbs, sorry, I, I mix gauge and orb, by two. Dog, this guy's gonna be dealing a lot of damage, dude. Especially with the increase in attack. Dog, a lot of damage. But when he cheated to a Titan, he has completely brand new cards. Obviously, in a brand new passive. He inflicts amp damage equal to 450% of attack on one enemy. Okay, single hit. He inflicts damage equal to 2% of attacks on all enemies. AoE, and he depletes three ultimate move gauge orbs. That's jacked. But they're showing the three stars, so I would assume it only does that in three star. Then the two star one does two, and the one star one does one. Right? Or the one star does none. Who knows? We'll have to see because they're only showing us the three star ones. Um, also, not to mention as well, too, his ultimate inflicts damage equal to 840% of attack on one enemy. So his ultimate is single target as well. Makes sense. He has a passive which immunes to ultimate move disabling skills. So this guy literally says, yo, Droll, eat my dick. <laughs> like, same with Gother, dude. Holy shit. And Blue Lily, that's actually jacked. Um, and he's a blue unit as well, too. So that'll be really interesting to say the least. Uh, here's Mikasa, which I've been hearing a lot about her. Uh, I've been hearing a lot about her. She inflicts damage equal to 10% to 29% of attack on one enemy. She makes the targets bleed. Little Jericho effect there. Um, she inflicts secret technique damage. 200%. Bruh. What? If you guys don't know, it increases damage dealt by 20% per this hero skill card in hand. That's... Yo, she actually is budget loss thing. Increases the hero's basic step by 50% for three turns. Wait, that's jacked. And she flips 420 Pog on attack on one enemy. That actually creates her ultimate is also a single target. For each other ally that receives damage when attacked, she increases her own stats by 3%. And you can do it 10 times and a total of 30%. That's actually insane, dude. Wow. Mikasa, not bad either. Not bad either, to say the least, bro. Sheesh. You look at these guys as well, too. I mean, they just look good, bro. The voice that they look flames, it looks good. It actually just looks good, dog. Um, sorry, I didn't even, I almost skipped Levi's. Holy shit, I didn't see this. So Levi inflicts, he inflicts Spike. He inflicts Despair. Uh, and he cancels buffs and sits one enemy. And his passive is well, always crit against an enemy that has the lowest leftover HP ratio. So this guy is actually slaughtering characters that are almost done. So it looks like chip damage is even better now. Chip damage just gotten better with this guy. Chip damage is gonna be really good with this guy. So by all means, you know, they all look like they're pretty good units. I'm not gonna lie. They all actually do look pretty good. So I think this is the SR one, I don't know. I'm not sure. Is this a Titan shifting one? This is a Titan shifting one. Titan shifting one is green. Sorry, I was saying that he was blue. Maybe the I don't know, man. Maybe the Mikasa was blue. I don't know. I have to look. I have to look into it, huh? But pretty cool to say the least. I think it's tight. They've added a first transformable character in the game thanks to the collaboration. The character skill cards look unique and race will change after transformation. So as race changes, but to what? Unfortunately, I can't read this. So I also am really bad at symbols. Is that giant? So don't if I'm wrong. But, I mean, all in all, this is already looking better than Anniversary. Guys, let me know what you think. This already looks better than Anniversary. I would love to know what you guys think. Yay, nay with these units. I mean, obviously, we can all agree. A lot better than Anniversary. Let me know what you thought, guys. I was trying to process information as much as possible. Sorry, sometimes that I process information. I speak really fast. I'm sorry about that, guys. Uh, let me know what you think down below. Leave a like, guys. Subscribe. We'll post another video tomorrow. And I'll see you guys in the next one.